Shalom everyone. Yahawa alahayom ahaya barakata bahasham yashawai hamashyak warawak hakwadash. All praise to the Father. He is self-existing. The Son, Yeshuai, He saves. And the Holy Spirit, Rawak Hakwadash, the Spirit of truth, understanding, wisdom, love, and light. This is Maya Kal. Specifically from the tribe of Levi, Laoya. Lawaya, from the 12 tribes of Yasharal, pardon me, specifically from the tribe of Levi, Lawaya, descendants of Jacob, Jacob, Isaac, and Abraham, the sense of Shem, as well as um, Noah and um, Enoch, all the way up to Adam, back to the Most High, before he created the first man, Adam. We are from the tribe of Levi, we are the priests of the congregation, the priests of Yasharal. If I'm correct about who I am. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be reading to you a couple of prayers and blessings from Abraham, where he, he had blessed um, Jacob and Isaac, Isaac and um, uh, Isaac's children before he passed away. And when he passed away, he passed away right next to Jacob, Jacob, which he loved much more than Esau. So we're going to go right ahead and begin. So if you want to, you know, close your eyes or, you know, whatever you want to do, get in a prayer um, or meditative state of mind or whatever you want to do. And we're going to go ahead and begin. May the Holy Spirit of truth be with us today through these prayers and blessings. May all the 12 tribes arise and know whom they are and claim their inheritance. May all tribes and all people from our nation return to their inheritance, to their rightful inheritance. Chapter 22 of the Book of Jubilees, Yawabal, verse 24, chapter 22. This house have I built for myself, that I might put my name upon it in the earth. It is given to thee and to thy seed forever. And it will be named the house of Abaraha'am, Bayath Abaraha'am. It is given to thee and to thy seed forever, Yasharal. For thou wilt build my house, Bayath Yahawa or Bayath Alahayam, the house of God, and establish my name before Alahayam forever. Thy seed and thy name will stand throughout all generations of the earth. And he sees commanding him and blessing him. And the two lay together on one bed, and Jacob slept in the bosom of Abraham. Because Abraham or Abraham was talking to Jacob, to Jacob, his father's father. And he kissed them seven times. And his affection in his heart rejoiced over him. And he blessed him with all his heart and said, The Most High, Allah Hayyam, Allah Hayyam of all, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit of all things, and Creator of all, who brought me forth from Ur of the Chaldees in Syria, because that's where Abra Abra Abraham comes from. And he might give me this land to inherit, to inherit it forever, and that I might establish a holy seed. Blessed be the Most High forever. And he blessed Jacob and said, My son, Abraham called Jacob his son, over whom with all my heart and my affection I rejoice. May thy grace and thy mercy be lift up upon him and upon his seed always. And do not forsake him, Jacob, Yasharal, nor set him at naught from henceforth unto the days of eternity. And may thine eyes be opened upon him and upon his seed, that thou mayest preserve him and bless him, and mayest sanctify him 
as a nation for thine inheritance. O Yahweh, Alahayo Mahayo, Yahweh Shawai, Yahweh my salvation. And bless him, Barak, with all thy blessings from henceforth unto all the days of eternity. And renew thy covenant and thy grace with him and with his seed, according to all thy good pleasure, unto all the generations of the earth. For, o for owning to the transgression of him, Canaan erred, because him stole Canaan from, from us, which is Damascus, Syria, and uh, Egypt, and Canaan. Philip, the uh, Lebanon and uh, Palestine as well. Believe it or not, read the book of Jubilees. For owning to the transgression of him, Canaan erred, and all his seed will be destroyed from off the earth and all the residue thereof. And Ham is the tribe where the fallen angels and the giants come from. And none springing from him will be saved on the day of judgment. And as for all the worshippers of idols and the profane, there will be no hope for them in the land of the living. Page 126, Book of Jubilees, Yawabal. And there will be no remembrance of them on the earth, for they will descend into Sheol, into death, and into the place of condemnation will they go. As the children of Sodom, which are children of Ham, were taken away from the earth, so will all those who worship idols be taken away. Fear not, my son Jacob, and be not dismayed, O son of Abraham. May the Most High Allah Hayyam, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and all the angels preserve thee from destruction and from all the paths of error. May he deliver thee. Yashai. Chapter 22, Book of Jubilees, verse 4. Or it might be verse 23. Pardon me. Chapter 23, pardon me. Book of Jubilees. Separate thyself from the nations because you are holy, consecrated, sanctified, set apart for a special purpose. Separate thyself from the nations around you and eat not with them because they eat food sacrificed to idols and do not and do not according to their works and become not their associate for their works are unclean and all their ways are a pollution and an abomination and uncleanness they offer their sacrifices to the dead and they worship evil spirits and they eat over the graves and all their works are vanity and nothingness. They have no heart to understand. And their heart and their eyes do not see what their works are. And how they error in saying to a piece of wood, Thou art my God. And to a stone, Thou art my, my master. And Thou art my deliverer. And they have no heart. And as for thee, my son, Jacob. May the Most High, Allah Hayyam, help thee. Yeshai. And Allah Hayyam of heaven, of spirit, Allah Hayyam, Rawak, Barakata, bless thee. And remove thee from their uncleanness and from all their error. Be thou aware, aware, my son Jacob, of taking a wife from any seed of the daughters of Canaan, of Egypt, or Africa. For all his seed is to be rooted out of the earth. And that's in the book of Jubilees, chapter 22. Chapter 22. Um, all right, chapter 22, verse 10 through 30, book of Jubilees. Blessed be my son, Jacob. This is Abraham, Abraham, that's saying that to us. Blessed be Ye um, Jacob, Jacob, Israel, Yasharel. And all the sons of Allah Hayyam Most High. Unto all the ages, even now, Amen. May Allah Hayyam give unto thee a seed of righteousness. And some of thy sons may he sanctify 
in the midst of the whole earth. May nations serve thee. Page 124, Book of Jubilees, Yawabal, or Yawab Al. And all the nations bow down themselves before thy seed. Be strong in the presence of men, and exercise authority over all the seed of Seth. Seth is the, the, the main forefather of all our tribes. After Abel was, was killed by Cain, <clears throat> Seth became the new um, righteous seed of Adam. Adam. Be strong in the presence of men and exercise authority all, over all the seed of Seth. And Shem, then thy ways in the ways of thy sons will be justified, so that they shall become a holy nation. May the Most High Allah Hayyam give thee all the blessings wherewith he hath blessed me, and wherewith he blessed Noye, Noah, and Adam, Atum. May them rest, may they rest on the sacred head. Of thy seed from generation to generation forever like a crown. And may he cleanse thee from all unrighteousness and impurity. That thou mayest be forgiven all thy transgressions. And thy sins of ignorance. And may he strengthen thee and bless thee. Brakata, and mayest thou inherit the whole earth. The whole entire earth under Allah Hayyam and the Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yeshua, and the Mother, the Holy Spirit that binds them all, Rawak, Hakwadash. And may He renew His covenant with thee, that thou mayest be to Him a nation for His, in for his inheritance for all the ages, and that He may be to thee and to thy seed. Allah Hayyam, in truth and righteousness throughout all the days of the earth. And do thou, my son Jacob, remember my words and observe the commandments of Abraham, thy father, our grandfather. But he called himself our father, as if we were his seed like the Most High had promised. Separate thyself from the nations and eat not with them and do not according to their works and become not their associates for their works are unclean. All right. So let's go ahead and continue on now. So he wants us to inherit the whole earth, the whole universe. So glory be to he is M. Yahweh Haya. Yahweh Ahaya. Or Yahweh Haya. He is M. Aman. Verse 12. Page 124 of Book of Jubilees. Verse 12. Be strong in the presence of men and exercise authority over all the seed of Seth. Then thy ways and the ways of thy sons will be justified, so that they shall become a holy nation. Remember that. Now this is in um, chapter 22. Well, I believe we already read that. Let me see. Pardon me. All right. Excellent. All right. Let's continue on. So this is a prayer as you feast. This is in chapter 22 in the book of Jubilees, verse 6. If not verse 11, number 6. And he ate and drank and blessed the Most High, Allah Hayyam. Barakata, Allah Hayyam. Barakata, Yahweh. Barakata, Yeshua. Barakata, Hakwadash, Rawak. Who hath created heaven and earth who had made all the fat things of the earth and given them to the children of men, that they might eat and drink and bless their creator. And now I give thanks unto thee, Allah Hayyam, 
because thou hast caused me to see this day. Behold, I am one hundred three score and fifteen years. So that is a hundred and five years old. So one hundred three score, hundred and ninety plus fifteen, a hundred and five years old. An old man and full of days. And all my days have been unto me peace. The sword of the adversary had not overcome me in all that thou hast given me, and my children, and the days of my life until this day. Tawada Allahayom. My Allahayom, may thy mercy and thy peace be upon thy servant, and upon the seed of his sons, that they may be to thee a chosen nation, and an inheritance from amongst all the nations of the earth, from henceforth unto all the days of the generations of the earth and universe, unto all the ages. Amen. Blessings to all the nations. Verse 21. I see, my son, that all the works of the children of men are sin and wickedness, and all their deeds are uncleanness and an abomination and a pollution and there is no righteousness with them. Beware, lest thou shouldest should walk in their ways, and thread in their paths, and sin a sin unto Sheol, death. Before the Most High, Allah Hayyam, in front of the Most High, else he will hide his face from thee, and give thee back into the hands of thy transgression, and root thee out of the land, and thy seed likewise from under heaven, from under the sky. And thy name and thy seed will perish from the whole earth. Turn away from all their deeds and all their uncleanness, and observe the ordinance of the Most High, Allah Hayyam, and do his will, and be upright in all things. And he will bless thee in all thy deeds, and will raise up from thee the plant of righteousness, the tree of life, Christ, Yeshua, through all the earth, throughout all generations of the earth and universe. And my name and thy name will not be forsaken under heaven forever. That was in page 122. Now chapter 21, verse 25, or number 25. Chapter 21, book of Jubilees, Yahweh Go, my son, in shalom, in peace. May the Most High Allah Hayyam, my Allah Hayyam, and thy Allah Hayyam, strengthen thee to do his will. May he strengthen you to do his will. And may he bless all thy seed and the residue of thy seed for the generations forever. Yes, even the residue of your seed. With all righteous blessings that thou mayest be a blessing on all the earth. Book of Jubilees, chapter 21. So this is where this comes from. Abraham's last words to Izazayak, Isaac. Book of Jubilees, Yahweh So in the sixth year, the sixth day of the sixth week of this Jubilee, Abaraham called Izazayak, his son, and commanded him, saying, I am become old, and know not the day of my death, and am full of my days. And behold, I am one hundred and seventy-five years old. And throughout all the days of my life I have remembered the king, and sought with all my heart to do his will, and to walk uprightly in all his ways. My soul hated, my soul hath hated idols. And I have despised those that served them. And I have given my heart and spirit that I might observe to do the will of him, Hawa, who created me. For he, Hawa, is the living Allah Hayyam. He is the Father, Son, and Spirit, the three in one, my holy triune Godhead, 
Alahayam. And he is holy and faithful. Quadash, Yahawa Quadash, Wa Amat. Pardon me. Yahawa Quadash, Wa Amawan. So Yahawa Quadash, Wa Amawan. He is Yahawa. He is holy, Quadash, and faithful. Yahawa Quadash, Wa Amawan. And he is righteous. Yahawa Amawan beyond all. And there is with him Hawa no accepting of men's persons and no accepting of gifts. For Allah Hayyam is righteous and, ex and executeth judgment on all those who transgress his commandments and despise his covenant. Yahuwah. And do thou, my son, observe his commandments and his ordinances and his judgments, and walk not after the abominations and after the graven images and after the molten images, and eat no blood at all of animals or cattle or of any bird which flieth in the heaven. And if thou do slay a victim as an acceptable peace offering, slay ye it and pour out his blood upon the altar. And what he's talking about is the animal. And all the fat of the offering offer on the altar with fine flour. And the meat offering mingled with oil. Olive oil. With this drink offering, offer them all together on the altar of burnt offering. It is a sweet savour before the king, Yeshua, and thou wilt offer the fat of the sacrifice of, of thank offerings on the fire which is upon the altar, like a barbecue grill, and the fat which is on the belly, which you shall not eat but burn, and all the fat on the inwards and the two kidneys, and all the fat that is upon them and upon the loins and liver. Thou shalt remove together with the kidneys and offer all these for a sweet savour acceptable before the Most High King, burning all that fat because they have demons in them. We rebuke them in the name of Christ Yeshua and fill ourselves up with love and light from Yahweh, Ahaya, through Christ Yeshua, my Savior. With this meat offering, so offer all these for a sweet savour acceptable before the king, our savior. With this meat offering and with this drink offering for a sweet savour, the bread of the offering unto the king Yeshua, unleavened bread, and eat its meat on that day and on the second day. And let not the sun on the second day go down upon it till it is eaten. Because once the sun goes down, it's the next day. Which means don't eat anything that lasts more than three days. And let nothing be left over for the third day. For it is not acceptable. For it is not approved. And let it no longer be eaten. And all who eat thereof will bring sin upon themselves for thus i have found it written in the books of my forefathers and in the words of enoch kanawak and in the words of noe noah and on all thy oblations thou shalt strew salt and let not the salt of the covenant be lacking and all thy oblations before the king if the salt loses its savour, where, wherewith can it be salt still? Other than to be trampled on the feet, which means don't lose your soul. The covenant is the salt, it's your soul. So on all thy oblations thou shalt strew salt, and let not the salt of the covenant be lacking in all thy oblations before the Savior. And as regards the wood of the sacrifices, to actually burn the fire on the altar, on the barbecue grill. Beware lest thou bring other wood for the altar in addition to these. 
to these ones. Do not add on to these wood. You can use these woods. Cyprus, Defron, Sagad, Pine, Fear, or Far, or Fear, Sedar, Savin, Palm, Olive, Mir, Laurel, and Citron, Juniper, and Balsam. And of these kinds of wood lay upon the altar under the sacrifice such as have been tested as to their appearance. And do not lay thereon any split or dark wood, but hard and clean, without fault or blemish, a sound and new growth. And do not lay thereon old wood, for its fragrance is gone. For there is no longer fragrance in it as before. Besides these kinds of wood, there is none other that thou shalt place on the altar, for the fragrance is dispersed, and the smell of his fragrance goeth not up to heaven. Observe this commandment, and do it, my son, that thou mayest be upright in all thy deeds, and at all times be clean in thy body, and wash thyself with water before thou approachest to offer on the altar, and wash thy hands and thy feet before thou drawest near to the altar. And when thou art done sacrificing, wash again thy hands and thy feet, because the water purifies you like a baptism. And let no blood appear upon you, nor upon your clothes. Be on thy guard, my son or daughter, against blood, be on thy guard exceedingly. Cover it with dust. And do not eat any blood. Which means do not suck inside the bones of, of the animal. For it is the soul. Eat not blood whatever. And take no gifts for the blood of man. Lise be shed with impunity. Without judgment. For it is the blood that is shed that causeth the earth to sin. And the earth cannot be cleansed from the blood of man, save, Yashai, by the blood of him who shed it. Because the wages of sin is death. And take no present or gift for the blood of man, blood for blood, that thou mayest be accepted before the Savior, the Most High, Allah Hayyam, Yahuwah. For he is, Yahweh, the defense of the good, and that thou mayest be preserved from all evil, and that he may save thee from every kind of death. I see, my son, that all the works of the children of men are sin and wickedness, and all their deeds are uncleanness, and an abomination and a pollution. And there is no righteousness with them. Beware lest thou should walk in their ways and thread in their paths and sin a sin unto death before the Most High, Allah Hayyam. Else he will hide his face from thee and give thee back into the hands of thy transgression and root thee out of, thy, of, out of the land and thy seed likewise from under heaven and thy name and thy seed will perish from the whole earth. 444 a.m. Halalawaya Bahasham Yashawai. Halalawaya Yahawa Shawai. Bahasham Yashawai. Yahawa Shai Bahasham Yashawai. Turn away from all their deeds and all their uncleanness and observe the ordinance of the Most High Allah Hayyam. These are our ordinances, these are our laws and statutes and codes. And regulations. And do his will. And do his will. The Most High's will. And be upright in all things. And he will. Barakata. In all thy deeds. And will raise up. Koam. From thee the plant of righteousness. Throughout all the earth. Throughout all generations. Of the earth. And my name and thy name will not be forgotten 
under heaven forever. Go, my son, in peace. May the Most High Allah Hayyam, my Allah Hayyam, and thy Allah Hayyam strengthen thee to do his will. And may he bless all thy seed and the residue of thy seed for the generations forever with all righteous blessings, that thou mayest be a blessing on all the earth. And he went out from him rejoicing. Amen. So, all right. Let's see what else we have left for this prayer now. All right, this is um, all right, check this out. This right here is Abraham's last words to his children and grandchildren. This is in chapter, this is in chapter 20 of. Yawabal, which means um, the book of Jubilees, um, verse 1 through 2. Actually, yeah, we're going to go down a few. So in the 42nd Jubilee, 40 times 50, it says right here, in the first year, the first day of the sixth week, which is, um, they say right here, it's 2052 or 2045. But if I was you, I would just do 40 times 50. Because there's 50 years in one Jubilee. And they said this was the 42nd 50 years of Jubilee. 40 times 50. On the first day of this of the sixth week in that Jubilee, Abaraha'am. Called Ishmael, it's not even Ishmael was blessed by Abraham, and Ishmael was his actual son, and his twelve sons, because Ishmael have twelve princes, twelve sons. Israel got twelve kings, and Izazayak Isaac, and his two sons, and the six sons of Keturah and their sons. So Keturah is the wife of Ishmael. So they called her six sons. She have six sons. Ishmael have 12 sons overall with Keturah. But she has six other sons as well, I believe. And he called Isaac and his two sons. And he commanded them that they should observe the way of the Savior. That they should work righteousness and love each his neighbor. And act on this manner amongst all men, that they should each so walk with regard to them, as to do judgment and righteousness on the earth, that they should circumcise their sons according to the covenant which he had made with them, and not deviate to the right hand or the left hand, of all the paths which which the Creator or which the Savior had commanded us. And that we should keep ourselves from all fornication and uncleanness. We cast them away into the furnace. And renounce from amongst us all fornication and uncleanness. And if any woman or maid commit fornication amongst you, burn her with fire. Now, this was Old Testament, by the way, before Yeshua came and forgave us of all our sins. And let, but she's considered burnt with fire if she don't repent. And let them not commit fornication with her after their eyes and their heart and mind. Or imagination or thoughts. Do not commit fornication at all. Have a clean and sanctified mind and heart. Circumcised and sanctified, holy, 100% may wisdom fill your bones. And let them not take to themselves wives from the daughters of Canaan. For the seed of Canaan will be rooted out of the land. And he told them of the judgment of the giants and the judgment of the sodomites, the people the people who love same 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 gender how they had been judged on account of their wickedness 
and had died on account of their fornication and uncleanness and mutual corruption through fornication. And guard yourselves from all fornication. Guard yourselves. Keep your loins girded with faith and truth and uncleanness. And from, I mean, and guard yourselves from uncleanness. And guard yourself from all fornication and uncleanness. And, and guard yourself from all pollution of sin. Least ye make our name not a blessing. And your whole life a hissing. And all your sons be all your sons and daughters be destroyed by the sword. And ye become accursed like Sodom, and all your remnant as the sons of Gomorrah. I implore you, my sons, love the Most High Allah Hayyam of spirit of heaven. Allah Hayyam Rawak. Ahaba, Ahaba ha Allah Hayyam Rawak. And cleave ye to all his commandments. Cleave to all his commandments. Page 117, Book of Jubilees, Yawab al. And walk not after their idols, and after their uncleanness. And make not for yourselves molten or graven gods, for they are vanity, and there is no spirit in them. For they are work of men's hands. And all who trust in them, those idols and presidents and men, trust in nothing. Serve them not, nor worship them, but serve ye the Most High, Allah Hayyam, and worship Him continually. And prayer, fasting, and praise. All glory to the Most High. And hope for His countenance always, for His integrity. And work up rightness and righteousness before him, in front of him. That he may have pleasure in you and grant you his mercy. May he have pleasure in you and grant you mercy. That's the only way we'll be saved. By the grace of the Most High, Yahweh Shawai. And through the words of his son, Yahshawai. O Yahawashai, Bahasham Yahshawai. And sin rain upon you morning and evening, day and night. And bless all your works which ye have wrought upon the earth, which you have created and manifested on earth. And bless thy seed and thy water, and bless the fruit of thy womb, and the fruit of thy land, and the herds of thy cattle, which you need to start gathering. And the flocks of thy sheep which you need to start gathering. And ye will be for a blessing on the earth. And all the nations of the earth will desire you. And bless your sons in my name. That they may be blessed as I am. And he gave to Ishmael and to his sons and to the sons of Ketorah gifts. And sent them away from Izazayak his son. So this was before Abraham sent Isaac, uh, before, he, before Abraham sent Ishmael away. He didn't just tell him to pack his stuff up and leave with Hagar. He actually um, blessed them. And then he sent them away from Isaac, his son. And he gave everything to Isaac, Izazayak, his son. And this is still Abraham saying this. Abraham keeps calling not only Jacob, his son, but also the 12 tribes. And Isaac, of course, is his son. You see? But Isaac was chosen over Ishmael. May this bring clarity. Amen. Salah. So we're about to finish off. So, all right. This is Abraham loves Jacob and blesses him. So this is in the book of Jubilees, chapter, hold on one sec. It looked like chapter 26. I may be wrong though. It's in Roman numeral, XIX, chapter XIX, verse 15 through 31. And Abraham, Abraham. Or Abraham 
love Jacob, but Isaziah loved Esau. So Isaac loved Esau, but Abraham, Abar, Abraham, or Abraham loved Jacob. And Abraham saw the deeds of Esau, and he knew that in Jacob should his name and seed be called. And he called Rebekah, which is the wife of Isaziah, Isaac, and gave commandment regarding Jacob, a commandment. For he knew that she too loved Jacob much more than Esau. And he said unto her, My daughter, watch over my son Jacob, for he shall be in my stead on the earth, and for a blessing in the midst of the children of men, and for the glory of the whole seed of Shem. For I know that the Savior, the King, will choose him to be a people for possession unto himself above all peoples that are upon the face of the earth and behold Isaiah my son loveth Esau more than Jacob but I see that thou truly lovest Jacob add still further to thy kindness to him and let and let thine eyes be upon him in love for he will be a blessing unto us on the earth from henceforth unto all generations of the earth. Let thy hands be strong, and let thy heart rejoice in thy son, Jacob, Rebekah, wife of Izaziah. For I have loved him far beyond all my sons. He will be blessed forever, and his seed will fill the whole earth. Count them if you can. Count them if you can count how much stars there are in the sky. Count them if you can count how much grains of sand there are in the sea and on the coast of the beach. If a man can number the sand of the earth, his seed also will be numbered. If a man can number the sand of the earth, and all the blessings wherewith the king, Yeshua'i, Yahweh Shawai, our savior, hath blessed me and my seed shall belong to Jacob and his seed always. So in all the blessings wherewith the king had blessed Abraham and Abraham's seed shall belong to Jacob, Jacob, which mean it won't be going to Isaac only, it didn't go to Esau and it did not go to Ishmael, but all the blessings and promises went directly to Jacob. And in his seed shall my name be blessed, and the name of my father Shem, and Noah, and Enoch, Kanawak, and Mahalalel, and Enos, and Seth, and Adam, because we're the sense of Adam, Seth, Enos, Mahalalel. Enoch, Kanawat, his son Methuselah, Noah, and so on. And these shall serve to lay the foundations of the heaven, and to strengthen the earth, and to renew all the luminaries, the sun, stars, and moons, and the firmament, which are in the sky. And he called Jacob before the eyes of Rebekah, his mother, to solidify it, and kissed him. And blessed him and said, Jacob, my beloved son, whom my soul loveth, may Allah Hayom bless thee from above the firmament, and may he give thee all the blessings wherewith he blessed Adam and Enoch and Noah and Shem, because it was these four people the blessings went to, and all the things of which he told me, and all the things which he promised to give me, may he cause to cleave to thee and to thy seed forever, according to the days of heaven, above the earth. And the spirits of Mastima shall not rule over thee or over thy seed to turn thee from the king and savior, Yahweh Shawai, Bahasham, Yahshawai. Who is thy God, Allah Hayyam, from henceforth forever? And may Yahweh, Allah Hayyam, be a father to thee, and thou, 
the firstborn son. That's why Jacob, Jacob is considered and recognized as the firstborn son of not just Isaac, but Abraham. That is the seed from Abraham's loin that was promised to him. Christ fulfilled it all from the tribe of Judah. So in the spirits of Mastima shall not rule over thee or over thy seed to turn thee from the king, the savior, who is thy Allah Hayom from henceforth forever. And may the most high or may our savior, Allah Hayom, our king, Allah Hayom, be a father to thee and thou the firstborn son and to the people always. Go in peace, my son. And they both went forth together from Abraham. And Rebekah loved Jacob with all her heart and with all her soul, very much more than Esau. But Isaac, Isaiah, loved Esau much more than Jacob. All right, this is going to end our prayer and blessings for today. Daniel chapter 9, this is in the Holy Bible now. Chapter 9, verse 1. Daniel's prayer for his people. In the first year of Darius, the son of Ahasuerus, of the seed of the Medes. They're the Hamites or Ishmaelites. Actually, the means of the children of Abra Abraham, Abraham, or Abraham, which was made king over the realm of the Chaldeans, where Abraham, Abraham was from, from Ur in the Chaldees, around Syria, Damascus, and things like that. In the first year, in the first day of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of Yahweh came to Jeremiah the prophet, that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem. So the Antichrist from the Medes and the Persians are going to be destroying Jerusalem, the city, for seven years. And I set my face unto the Savior, the King, Allah Hayyam, to seek by prayer and supplication with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. And I prayed unto Yahweh, my Allah Hayyam, and made my confession and said, O King, Savior, the great and dreadful Allah Hayyam, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him and to, to them that keep his commandments, we have sinned and have committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled, even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgments. Neither have we hearkened unto thy servants, the prophets, the seers, the messengers and angels, which spake in thy name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land, O oh, Yeshuai, my King, my Savior, Yashai, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces, as at this day. To the men of Judah, Yahweh, the Most High, thanks, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, Yahweh rules peace, and unto all Yasharal, with God we have prevailed that are near, and that are far off, through all the countries whither thou hast driven them, because of their trespass that they have trespassed against thee. O Yeshuai, O Yeshai, my Savior and King, Hamalak, to us belongeth confusion of face, to our kings, to our princes, and to our forefathers, because we have sinned against thee. To the King, our Savior, our Allah Hayyam, belongeth mercies and forgivenesses, though we have rebelled against Him. Neither have we obeyed the voice of Yahweh, Allah Hayyam, Ahaya, to walk in His laws. 
which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. Yeah, all Yeshurun have transgressed thy law, even by departing that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse is poured upon us. And the oath that is written in the laws of Moses in Deuteronomy, the blessings and curses, the servant of Allah Hayyam, Moses, Masha, the servant of Allah Hayyam, because we have sinned against him and we have confirmed his words, Imanawal, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. Like he said in the book of Moses, in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High Allah Hayyam, in Deuteronomy, and Leviticus. All in the books of Moses, matter of fact. Yet made we not our prayer before Yahweh, our Allah Hayyam, that we might turn from our iniquities, infirmities, transgressions, wrongdoings, and sins, our disobedience, and understand thy truth. Therefore hath Yahweh watched upon the evil and brought it upon us. For Yahweh Allah Hayyam is righteous in all his works which he doeth. For we obeyed not his voice, the voice of truth and spirit within, the clearest voice within, clearest crystal. And now, O Yah, and and now, O King Hamalak Yeshai Yeshuai. Yahweh Shawai, Allah Hayyam, that has brought thy people from out of the land of Kemet, of Egypt, of bondage, with a mighty hand, and has gotten thee renowned as at this day. We have sinned, we have done wickedly. O Lord, O King, O Savior, according to all thy righteousness, I beseech thee, I beg you, let thine anger and the fury be turned away from the city of Jerusalem, Yahweh Shalom, Yahweh Shalom, or Yahweh Shalom, that ho thy holy mountain, because thy holy mountain, land of the mountains, because for our sins and for the iniquities of our forefathers, Jerusalem and thy people are become a reproach to all that are about us. Confusion of faces belong it to us. Now therefore, O our Allah Hayyam, hear the prayer of thy servant and his supplications, and cause thy face to shine upon thy sanctuary that is desolate for the, for the Savior's sake, for the King's sake, O oh my Allah Hayyam, incline thine ear and hear. Open thine eyes and behold our desolations in the city which is called by thy name. For we do not present our supplications before thee for our righteousness, but for thy great, great, great and precious mercies. Have mercy upon me, Father. Have mercy upon my soul. I beg you, Father, have mercy on me. Forgive me for all of my sins, debts, and trespasses. And I also forgive all those who have sinned against me and you. And I forgive those who are indebted to me. And I forgive those who have trespassed me or attempted to trespass me. It's all blotted out. May my sins be blotted out as well, likewise. We do not present our supplications before thee for our righteousness, but for thy great mercies. O, oh, O oh Yeshai, hear. O oh Yeshai, forgive. O oh Yeshai, Hamalak, Yashawai, hearken and do. Defer not for thine own sake. O oh my Allah Hayyam, for thy city and for thy people are called by thy name. Aman. And that was in Daniel chapter 9. Well, that's it for now, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed these blessings and prayers. Um, listen to these videos over and over. Spread them. You know, share them. Um, all praise for the Most High. All praise to the Most High. All grace to the Most High. 
I thank him for giving me the strength and power and intellect to make this video today and gather the information from the books to be able to share it with y'all. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this holy manna today. May you guys digest it and be made full. Aman. Salah.